So this is a Lebowski controller that I built. Small, it's supposed to be a micro three kilowatt controller. Uh, I had it originally just being tested on a small 250 watt hub motor. It's been set up for that. All the inductance measurements have been done on that one. And just recently we got a scooter, like a kick scooter hub motor in the mail and thought I'd just plug it in and connect it up and see what it does. And It spins first try. I uh, didn't even have to worry about going through the settings to recalibrate. So that worked quite well. So I've just decided to run it again. I've uh, just swapped a couple of the phase leads so it runs in the opposite direction. And I've removed the little washer so it doesn't tick anymore. So it's actually very silent. It's not making a lot of noise at all. And in fact, once it's on the scooter, I don't think anyone will really notice that it's got a hub motor on it at all. Certainly not like the, the Razor chain drive scooters that you see cruising around the streets. Um, I have noticed that it's actually quite difficult to turn when it's stationary. There's a definite electrical resistance when I turn it in the direction of motion. If I turn it against the direction of motion, it's a lot more free. So whether or not that's something to do with the software, I'm not sure I'll have to ask... Lebowski about it and see what he thinks. Um, perhaps I, if I redo the calibration, it'll come good. But at the moment, like I said, it's still calibrated for that motor. Uh, it just happens to work. So I'll run through the settings and see what it does uh, and go from there. Okay, so it's been reconfigured with uh, the settings to measure the inductance correctly. Then everything was auto-completed back in the configuration screen. All the settings were saved. Um, I have noticed now that it's it's a little bit rough when you first turn it, but once you get it turning, it spins quite smoothly. So it's really just getting it from a stop start and turning is the uh, is the the slightly um, resistant part, but after that it spins quite smoothly. And of course, once you get it going, once you hit the throttle, it just picks up and synchronizes straight away. So it's all good from there. Uh, that's it. For tonight, no, hopefully we'll get it on the scooter this weekend.